Now nothing stands in our way. Oh, that's so good. Hi there. Welcome, welcome, my heroic comrades. I need your rules ruse sauce. Uh, homemade dainty scarf weapon. Let's go. Thanks, hero. Come by any time, my good worms. I'll think about it. Dainty scarf. Fluffiness up. Delicate scarf that increases healing power but has no attack. Well... I'll protect everyone! <laughs> so filled with duty, are you not? So we've got the Jevil's Tail there too. Ah, a J-shaped tail that gives you devil energy. I guess I'll wear it. Cool. Defense and magic, up. Sweet. Save there. Oh, hey fella. Its previously violent expression has turned to kindness. It will now live a peaceful life. Ah, oh, that's the spirit. You don't have to be so angry all the time. At least not all the time. Maybe sometimes. But yeah, it's not good for you. Oh. We're already here. Card Castle Throne. Riches. They shine with avarian. Aver uh, with with avarice. With av avarice. With rice bubbles. That's close. More rice bubbles. Cool. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. Oh. Wall banners. They seem to have been through some kind of struggle. Some kind of mutiny? Some kind of coup? Some kind of tomfoolery? <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Hey, there's Lancer! Father! Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the Lighteners as I commanded? N no, but... I did even better! I it turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said uh, they could just, like, talk to you and... They're alive? Yes! And I think you'll like them a lot. Uh, there's Susie. She's very purple and strong. And where are they now? Um. <gasps> hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Yes, father? Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go! <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lighteners? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... And down you go. Yeah. No, fair enough. We're not in charge right now. Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lighteners. Oh. What the... You... You traitor! Come back here! All right, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you... <laughs> I'm the bad guy. 
motherfucker. Duh! King blocked the way. You know what? We've been through worse already. You can't be so bad. King, abandoned by the lightness, his heart became cracked with hatred. You took a million steps in the wrong direction, my friend. He cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. How dare you come here, Lighteners? How dare you be a selfish butt? The battlefield is rumbling. Susie, how about you have a chat? Susie tried to reason with the king. All right, listen up. Lance is my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then. If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. <laughs> All right. You want to see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. You left us in the shadows, stripped of meaning. I didn't do shit. I wasn't there. The fuck are you talking about? Darkness pours from the fountain. Uh, Rousey? Rousey tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lightness you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Rousey's will is changing. Talk became Jewel Heal. You dare return to torment us once again. No. Honestly, mate, I just want to sit down and have a very diplomatic sherbet with you. King's mouths babble. Oh yeah, mouths, plural. What a haunting fella. How about I have a chat, eh? We'll go on the defensive for now. No attacking. I'll just be diplomatic. You tried to reason with the king. Silent Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. Begone, we have found fresh purpose. The DVD attack. Well, it already hit the corner, so it's lame now. Haha, <laughs> okay. Courage, defense boost. We kind of have no choice, do we? You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Oh, nearly. Nearly. For the knight has appeared. The battlefield is rumbling. Your soul shined its power on Rousey. Rousey casts Jewel Heal. Brilliant. The knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Red Buster. Let's go, Susie. Let's go. Your soul shined its power on Susie. Holy sh- <laughs> Holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. Uh <laughs> Courage. Defend, defend, go, go, go. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. We need to attack you. I need to get out of this habit. Damn it. You encourage the party. The party's defense race for this turn. <laughs> Do you see now our new purpose? No, I'm as unenlightened as they come. You know, how about we all fight? All fight, all fight, all in. Ooh, that'll do. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. For how long, though? You kinda need us, eh? How did- Oh, that did not go well. Fight. Fight. I need you to fix Susie, because I am a doofy. Thank you. So close. Then you may see what it is like to live in despair. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. 
Fight. Fight. Wait, 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 wait. Jewel heal. Fight. Heal us, please. Thank you so much. Oh, so close. Now, enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Oh, God. Oh, this one's fucked. No. Nope. We're good, we're good. The battlefield is rumbling. Wall attack. Oh, so close! Ha! Huh. You're quite strong, aren't you? Thank you! It means a lot. I say you're a big tough guy yourself. Oh, finally! If I keep fighting you like this, then... Ah! You're trying to strategize out loud, I see. Well, what's one more? Oh, so close. It seems that... You have no idea what to do. Ha-ha! <laughs> My knight! I shall not fail you. Hmm. Enough. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Bye. Lighteners, I... Perhaps I... I have been too cruel. The truth is... I was not always this way. There once was a time... where darkness and lighteners lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too... Do not yearn for those days. Ugh. Perhaps... Perhaps you young ones are right. Please... Let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all of this. Hmm. No, you're right to hesitate. <laughs> Come now, Susie. Hmm. For the first time in the whole game, I want Susie to trust her instincts. Because even I was fooled. He's been playing by the rules so far and it hasn't done him very well. Has it? I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes. Friends. That sounds... lovely. <coughs> My apologies, I'm... I'm not used to fighting like that. You mean by the rules in the ring? Eh? Eh? With judges watching you. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word! Ta-da! There, should be all healed up now. How do you feel? L let's see. Oh. <laughs> Never better. You... Uh, you... Did I say you could get up? Yes! Chris! Ow. Oh, spare me the heroics. Ow. Fuck you, dude. You. You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? 
You can't even say. Young one. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Ow. <gasps> you can see two eyes. She got oh she got two eyes. And she's fucking serious. You used her line, you big bully. Hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightener. You honestly think you have any way to convince me to not kill you? Nah. But they might. <laughs> Lazar! Everyone! What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad, you're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightness, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me! So now I'm the dad! You idiots! The Lightners are your enemies! Fools! I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Yikes! I think someone needs a timeout! Go to your room, dad! No! <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna pass out. You're right, Chris. Chris! Susie! Oh, you're... you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris! Susie! I'm, I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we, we almost... We, we almost... Susie, I, you were right. I, I, I was foolish to think that we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Uh, it's complicated. I mean, yeah, sometimes as people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about. Oh, Susie. Oh, you're so... Oh, you're Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Uh, don't get used to it. Then I, uh... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh, see ya. Hey! Wait a minute! What are you doing? Huh? Chris, you wanna... Wanna go say goodbye to everyone, don't ya? Hmm. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna make me, I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go! Yeah, let's go, let's go. Bye, so happy. Yay. Oh, it's so. Oh, you look so good! Looks good. Rousey. Chris? Susie? You came back. Uh, well. Chris just wanted to say bye, you know. Oh! Actually. Uh, everyone here wanted to say goodbye too. Uh, please let me know when you leave, all right? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Don't worry, fella. Also, another thing that this game does really well is the end bit. Because we're in the last bit now. We've, we've, we've defeated the boss, he's been arrested, there's a new king, everybody likes him, I hope. <laughs> now it's time to say goodbye to everyone. But in Undertale, you had to go right back to the beginning of the game to say bye to everyone, but now... We're all in the throne room. So everyone's just all together so you can say bye very quickly. I like this so much more. Way to go, kids! Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And uh, thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Oh, you look so handsome. Got nothing left to teach you now. Life's got no tutorial, so try your best. I like that. Best! You're the best! 
Thanks! Honestly, we owe you. <laughs> You're absolutely amazing. Thanks. Great work. Thanks, fellas. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the way, I asked Shulm to come here, but uh, there wasn't any interest. Oh, I just realized I'm holding something that I could have sold to him. The glow shard. Yeah. Hmm, I hope I have that during the next episode. Even a little ball can say something like, thank you. Thank you, little ball. You're lovely. Eh, I'll just sell it to him then. Darn, horsey. You're done as good big help. Now all the universe pieces can live in pieces. Boy, my nostrils can't take you enough. <laughs> You did it! You ousted that rotten tyrant! I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing. Don't worry, it's not in writing. I saw nothing, don't worry. Hi, thanks for getting out of our way. Wonderful work, my amigos! Thou hast topless the tyrant, freed our creeds. Tulieth, history shall not forget. The tale of Rule's card and the three heroes. What about the part where you tried to kill us? Ah, an interesting historical theory, is it not? Nonetheless, the evidence precludeth such a thing. What evidence? I shall giveth thou a plate of worms for thou silence. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> thou has a strong bargaining repertoire. Thank you. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. <laughs> I don't blame you. Hi guys! The future looks sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next birthday too. We'll have one soon. If that's possible. <laughs> Ah, these years are flying by nowadays. Happy! Happy! Looked at you proudly! Kiss! Aw, thanks, Happy. You're so lovely. What's going on? I slept through everything. <laughs> You're too busy in the bin. Oh, it must have been comfy in there. Oh, I gotta talk to the toys. Show's over! Everybody go home! Okay. And you? What's all the fuss about? If your people are in cages. Oh, there should be one. <laughs> Lance is looking so cute. Oh. What oh! What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Oh! Oh, my treasure is unharmed? Oh, carry on then. <laughs> Worry not, sir. We have pocketed only a little bit of it. Us animals decided it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses to make us comfy. Fair enough. Mamma mia! What a celebration! This call is for a cake! And this time, I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it! Beautiful, mate! Thank you! I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who... make... Eh? <laughs> Wait, I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who make our new king. I think you mean who to make our new king. Doesn't matter. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. I have high hopes for the new king. He's already mandated a 400% increase in salsa production. <laughs> Make it extra spicy with habadabadabadabaneros, please. Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home, Waste. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh. Oh, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I did not want to. Uh, so... <coughs> wow. Um, so... You're the king now, huh? Yes! And I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now illegal. Second, 
prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea, but it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see, I guess. Uh, well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. <laughs> oh. You are the squishiest beanie baby ever and you're gonna make a great king one day. And that day happens to be today. Thank you so much, little fella. You should tell your prince I say goodbye as well. Is he leaving? No, he's just a sweet little peach. <laughs> that he is. Hey, fella. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. <laughs> Thank you. So considerate. Where's my sweet little peach man? Where is he? You! Chris? Susie? Are you leaving? Hell if I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Level 1 Dark Knight does damage using dark energy. Fucking hell yeah. Susie, Chris. You gonna leave? Um, I... I just wanted to... Oh wait 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 no no we're gonna we're gonna, we're doing this again where where is it where is it where is it where is it I I I I just I just wanted to say I I uh I really enjoyed meeting you too and hey can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec I can barely hear you dude oh oh I'm sorry <gasps> wow you so pretty. <laughs> I felt, I feel like Susie's expression there. <laughs> I think the whole world felt that when Rousey took off his hat. Look at you. Fluffiest little goat boy in the universe. Look at you. Look at you. Um, Chris, Susie, I, uh... <laughs> oh, I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make lots of yummy cakes, all right? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. <laughs> Let's get out of this crazy town. <laughs> hey, Chris, I know you want to stay, but we gotta go. Okay, fine. I wanted to see his little fluffy head one more time. We'll go. I'm sorry. Hang on. Okay, never mind. Ooh. It's beautiful. Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into uh, something really important, didn't we? <laughs> well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? Let's go. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Can't see anything. <laughs> hey, watch it. <laughs> hey? 
the unused classroom. How did we get here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Huh. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, let's just... <laughs> let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. <laughs> yeah, pretend it's normal, that's fine. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. Oh, hang on a mean, 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 mean it. I never realized this, but this might be the entire map we just played on. At least, I think it makes sense. There might be a lot of pun men there. It's a worn down stuffed animal. Oh, welcome back, travelers. I pray your journey was a nice one. <laughs> light switch. It's a light switch. Indeed. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. Oh, that's the castle. It's a yellowed, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. Okay, that one's beyond me. The door is locked. Oh, hang on. Glass. This is... What? Go info first. There is a small shard of something in your pocket. It feels like glass, but... Triple dot. This is freaky. You looked through the glass. For some strange reason. For just a brief moment. You thought you saw through your hand. Hmm. 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 Mm-hmm. You look through it again. But nothing happened. It saw that. Ball of junk. Use. You looked at the junk ball in admiration. Nothing happened. Under no circumstances should you drop this ball. You really didn't want to throw it away. Throw it throw it away anyway? No. You felt a feeling of relief. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was being the intrusive thought, you know, like that, the intrusive thought, like when you're at the edge of a cliff, just saying, hey, I wonder what happened if you fell off. Or someone hands you their new phone and is like, wait, what would happen if you threw this? I'm sorry. Oh God, it's late. It's six. Hey, Suze. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alf also know better than to ask us next time, huh? <laughs> Stupid lizard. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Bye. Mm. Nah, nah, nah. Chris? <gasps> oh. Well, let's go back there tomorrow, alright? He's got a little small aisle. Well, he's got a li little smile. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. There's no way I could possibly hate you anymore. Got a heart of gold. The door is locked. Thank locked. The door is locked. Fair enough. I don't think the classroom ones are locked. I need a sip. We've been out. You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. It's tepid. Hey, what? You ran the water fountain. It's refreshingly cool. Oh, with time. Good. <laughs> That's a nice feature. Do you like breathing, moving fast, with or without legs? But usually with legs? Join the cross-country team with Jockington and Noel. Is Jockington the snake? Locker. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. Hey, what? This used to be your brother's locker. Oh. It's your locker. It's empty. Oh, hey. Ms. Toriel is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. 
What time is it? That says 10. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? Hmm. Why do you ask, Chris? Chairs. The throne of the gods. <laughs> It's a primitive drawing of your mum. Kids books, some of them used to be yours. Is the rainbow fish in there? Oh, or Harry McClary. Harry McClary, please. Some kind of teacher food. <laughs> it's a computer. It's desktop wallpaper is you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. How cute. Scented markers. <laughs> yes. You dig out the marshmallow one and start huffing it. But yes, you gotta sniff the markers. They're so sniffly. It's a poster of several basic shapes. Circle, oval, square, hyperdohecahedron. Bored. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. Okay. The locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. Is that caddies? Yeah. Locker is locked. The locker's lock is locked. The lock's locker is locked. <laughs> the locker's lock's locker is locked. <laughs> Where's Tem's egg? Egg is missing. Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. The computer is turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the sort of week I had. You checked the time. It seems to not be time for class. Okay, that says it's nearly three. The clock before said it was six. Yeah, okay. Like six or six thirty. We gotta. Oh fuck. C Chris, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. If you had, you, you had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris. I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. Bye, mom. I'll talk to you later. I got two bucks. That's good. Stat. Chris. Weapon, pencil, armor, bandage. Money, two. Got two real muns. Call home. Hi, mom. Chris, honey? What is it? What? No, I'm not giving you a ride home. Our house is not far. It's just at the top of town. Try walking. It builds character, honey. Click. <laughs> Okay. You know what? I might do that. Next time. I'll be back later. Back one last time for chapter one. Let us explore the town. And I'm really unsure about where we're about to head because we're going to see a lot of familiar faces. I mean, if you've been around for my Undertale playthrough or... In fact, any Undertale playthrough, you will note that we are going to see a lot of familiar faces. However, it seems we're in a very different universe. Doesn't really make sense. Anyway. Accompanied by yet another beautiful soundtrack. Goodbye, school. Library. <laughs> it's still misspelled. Still. <laughs> oh, hello. Chris, you survived Susie. <laughs> I was getting worried. Well, now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to Draw Dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. But I have $2. I have $2. I can't afford that. Ah, did you forget what it looks like? The front is, er, perhaps, a mauve dragon wearing lipstick. And as for her clothes, I believe they are... Well... You know, Chris, I think you'll know it when you see it. <laughs> She's got fantastic headlights. Chris, what's up? 
and his workers so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Wow. You could say I'm having a ball. <laughs> You're incredible. 73 times. Why? It's Tim. Gotta go cool, Link. So Tim, stop me hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. <laughs> Not very useful. In the long term, anyway. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The teen zone, where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. <laughs> oh, good. There's an anime review. Oh, God. <laughs> you decide not to read it. Okay. I actually don't want to read it for real. I don't want to. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh. I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no. They're putting it into their catalogue. Oh no. I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. <laughs> Rise, ghost man. There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavour text. I mean, logically, it's only one step away from licking your fingers to then turn the page. Wanna just lick the book, you psychopath? Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. I looked it up. Gerson Boom is the old turtle. The whoa there! I got some neat junk for sale. You have no idea where I got it from. What? <laughs> that guy. He's incredible. But I don't think he's around here. Please remember my name. Please, I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot. <gasps> he flames me. Remember my name. I changed it to Hot's Fire Guy. I hoped you'd be here. Computer Lab, please surf mini clip responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. <laughs> Fair enough. Just pass around Soldiers of Fortune 2 demo on a USB stick. Like the old days. Much easier. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. You looked through the window to the computer lab. Now the dog is just playing the maracas. It's not doing any work. This might take a while. It did. To be fair though, the next release of chapters will apparently be a bundle of chapters. I believe three, four and five might be released together. Don't take my word for it, but uh, hopefully it won't take so long. Hopefully. Hey, friend. I, I, I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should, you should really uh, read them. I really should. I'd like to. I, I love reading, especially the, the books. Yes. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, I, I, I love reading too. But uh, I'm afraid uh, I'm very busy standing here being an obstruction. All right, next time. Undyne, what did you do? <laughs> Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way! She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. <laughs> are you the guy who sold his house for a snail shell? Pretty sure you are. And you, I can't remember you very well. <laughs> How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I, I guess I should just run away. Mate, just go prindle all the way to the ur and get out of there. It's not that hard. What's she gonna do? Oh. On second thought, no, don't do a thing. Hey, punk, get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait. Oh, it's just Asgore's kid. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm a little uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. <laughs> I wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Uh, Alphys. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea, no idea who you're talking about. Wait, they do something illegal? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> if I see Alphys, I'll tackle him. <laughs> They're as good as dead. <laughs> I'm sure she would be very grateful. Can I help 
I'm good at at at, at cars. Oh, you want to help me? <laughs> sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex. <laughs> Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. <laughs> I'm on it. There's a dark world. What? There's a dark world inside the school. Uh, <laughs> sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. <laughs> That's a job for the school board. But they said it was a job for you. What do I do now? Nothing to report. Uh, fine, nothing to report, I guess. Don't do anything illegal, you little punk. And let me know if you get a lead on any purple girls. There's one wanted on several counts of comic mischief. Uh-oh. Susie, what did you do? Hospital. Oh, this is actually really sweet. Hi. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Well, I can play one of the anime music songs, I guess. It's an obligatory hospital piano, shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Clink. Uh. Uh. Hey, it's these things. It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally sports inside the doctor's offices. That's what I was talking about! With the little prison cards. The beads march grimly along their set path. Day in, day out. Never ending. They might even outlive us. Hmm. You usually play the piano a bit more beautifully. Is everything okay? You do seem a little sick. Yeah, I'll admit myself. Don't worry about it. I'll just... <laughs> oh, hang on. It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines and a circle. I could have told you that. In here, in here. Noelle and her dad. I actually really hope he's okay. <laughs> dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Noelle, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah. She slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazer 3? Beat it yet? No, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of, uh, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Oh well. Maybe, uh, maybe I shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here, I'm bored as hell. Ha ha ha. Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. I guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's a uh, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Hi. Oh, hi, Chris. What are you doing here? Hi, not Dad. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mum make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? How are you? So, why am I in here? Well, I uh, found some crap, so it's, that's just some tests. Eh, uh, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff, then I can go back to, uh, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. <laughs> hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Don't worry, there's uh, no way you can bore me right now. Niall! Ah, oh, she's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so, uh, 
defenseless, you know. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. When it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. How's your family? Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey. Uh, now that Asriel's off to college, uh, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> nah, I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand... <laughs> She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once, she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. <laughs> this is why I came here, friend. You're so nice. <laughs> Why'd you come here? What the hell are you doing here for, Chris? To gawk? You thought this was the zoo or something? Come on! <laughs> oh my god, may your heart live forever. What's this? It's an angel doll. Its lack of facial features is unsettling. That angel? Noel and Des made it in the youth group. It's kind of like a good luck charm to me now. Oh, right, you and Azzy tried to make one too. But you wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. <laughs> its lack of facial features are unsettling. Just as well it's not mine, so I have no right to fucking complain. Shut the fuck up, Chris. It's a sink. Hey, Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? <laughs> Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? Yeah, sorry. I'm not feeling well today. It's a chair. Not cherry. Flowers. It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but uh... Roses? <laughs> what is this, Beauty and the Beast? That ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. <laughs> that you are. Well, nice chatting with you. Good luck, friend. I'll come by tomorrow. <laughs> He's great. Christ, this castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber, but my blood is boiling for battle. Still? It's a classical 1 to 10 pain scale using IC as a model. Him? At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. <laughs> Doom guy, basically. You looked inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. It's got one key. It's a regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. Hmm, not for me to ponder. I am not the architectural plumber here. Police. Help, I would like to report a criminals. You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. <laughs> he just closed the blinds. Blukey! Seems like the police aren't really feeling it right now. Oh, I don't really feel like it. I'm sorry. Police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, <laughs> Do you read the whole thing? Jesus. <laughs> that really hurt my throat. Town hall. That's politics, bear. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Really? <laughs> Not only does she act icy, she always keeps her office's AC on full blast. That chill I feel is... Is this what politics feels like? Office politics, maybe. 
I mean, I want it to be zero degrees all the time. But I live on the hottest, driest, flattest continent on the earth. So unfortunately, I don't have that luxury in most places I go. Hence why I'm always fucking miserable. Hey, it's the hotel receptionist hand. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor's busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. <laughs> That's an awful way of getting her attention. Oh wait, shit, what did that say? If... Sorry, I didn't read that, I'll pause it. If you don't like her, please blame your mother for getting her hired. <laughs> hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? <laughs> hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. <laughs> but they said, oh my god. What? Don't talk to you like you're a kid? Fine. If you need someone to change your diaper, go ask the cops. <laughs> Christ. I'll just sit here and get paid. Leave us alone. Hello. You're kind of nice. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. And on a school day, there must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please, speak. I want fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our car sounds a bit... <laughs> our car sounds... <laughs> our fully sick fruit juice. Our car sounds a little bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would, it would be wonderful if you could sing with us. Or even participated to any extent. Instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> but it's so tasty. They give you like 20 mils of the fucking shit. And that's it. Maybe a piece of bread or a cracker. You can't get it anywhere else. Gimme. Nothing. I understand. I hope in time you may find the words you seek. Let the angel's power light your way. Thanks, Father Alvin. I like you. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Oh, she didn't believe in herself, but I did. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. I'm not sure, sorry. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Oh. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Author of several books. I think this bench is dedicated to him. Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here. If anyone asks, you're right. I love that. So unapologetically himself. That's what I remember from Undertale. God, he was so great. I think, I think, I think Father Alvin is his son. Just, I, I remember some dialogue from chapter two. Oh God, and I remember this too. It's locked. God for that. Ah. Well, thank fuck that's over. <laughs> right. Um. Up left. Q seized. Jesus. Pass me up. Pass me up, boss. Okay. Ice in Australia does not mean something very pleasant. But if used in that context, it would explain a lot. Let's go to the diner. Caddy's daughter? You're alive. Nice. <laughs> that means a lot, thank you. I'm working. Can't care has your chippies. This uniforms. 
Mandatory. Oh, I'm sure Jockington likes it. Uh, we'll take the special, and uh, do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. <laughs> In a pinch, sprinkles will work too. <laughs> you're getting fucking fairy bread and you're gonna like it. You got it? Hi there. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a, a piece of firewood? <laughs> Makes sense. And uh, how would you like that firewood done? <laughs> Glowing charcoals on the outside, please. I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. <laughs> nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. <laughs> if I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. <laughs> yeah, true. How about you? Dude, remember when we used to skip the first hour of class to come here? Is that where you went? And you got trapped behind all the lasers at one time. You were fine, but I almost had to repeat, <laughs> repeat the year of that bastard. I should have repeated English. Those crepes were mad worth though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Dude, if we didn't bring Gerson our leftovers, I bet I would have failed hard. Teacher? <gasps> Ice Wolf! Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. Ice Wolf also like ice theme mascots. Oh, you'd be at home in the pizza place next door, my friend. Nice hat! Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Wow. The weight you carry. Whew. I sure love pancake. That's just as well. Hi! Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hun. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened and then, uh, you all, uh, stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother'd still come in, he'd order you a hot chocolate, and you'd two sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. <laughs> you must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? You got the oh oh you just thank you. Just you fuck your sprinkles. I'm having my hot chocolate. I'm gonna have it right now. Go. You drank the hot chocolate. It tasted wonderful. Your throat tightened. Oh, I bet it was all frothy and nice on the top as well. Don't be a stranger now, all right, hun? Okay. Oh, I'm afraid I couldn't get any stranger if I tried. <laughs> I'm trying to have a moment here. Could you just quit it for a second? Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pairs of flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pea baroness, and more. Stop on down at IDC's Pezza. Can I tell you a mascot secret? I only started working here because the, the, the logo made me think it was an ice cream shop, but I ended up really loving my job and, and my co-workers too. <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you for telling me your mascot secret. Speaking of secrets. Oh God, someone's actually here. Uh, I see his pizza. Your number one spot for a piping hot piece of pizza. Uh, hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. You too. Little buddy, it's me! Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me about Azriel. I can't kind of miss him. I had a hot chocolate that reminded me of like hanging out with him in the old days when things were good and easy. And like I'm in a bit of a modern hellstorm where, you know, memories like that are fleeting, but like I still remember him, and you remember him too. You must miss him as well. How is he? What have you heard? Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You... You can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Pick it up, for example. Chicks! Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But, but, but at one time, Undyne made eye contact with me! While she was writing me a speeding ticket. <laughs> it's good to see you again, man. I love this guy. Co-workers, 
Ah, yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Blue ears, soft serb, obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. <laughs> Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy, man, that guy. You gotta. Actually, does that even work here? Nah, my co-workers. Where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. No much happier place. <laughs> Get me out of this hellstorm job. Make no mistakes, little buddy. I see Peter is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player. There's no I in Pezza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll get a theater degree, become famous actor. Let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. Shoot for the fucking stars, my champion. It's fine, little buddy. You don't have to watch me suffer. Just enjoy your freedom while it lasts. <laughs> help, help. I hate it. The entrance is locked. I hate it. No one's inside. Seems like all of the employees are outside in costume. Oh, God. Here at Icy's Pizza, your family is going to love it. Uh, are you sure about that? It sounds like it should be followed up with an or else. Okay. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. Huru friends. <gasps> oh, who could that be? Who could that possibly be? <coughs> hey, who's, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? <laughs> who the hell are you? Hmm. <laughs> you know, good question. I'm Sans, your friendly neighborhood skeleton. What's up? Nice store. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. Winky face. What's up? <laughs> Friends? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? You only one should know better. Um, <laughs> yeah. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mum last night. She's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Said she's uh, got to lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm very fun. Whoa there, Tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. You got Sans' number. Dare I? Dare, 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 dare I? Ring, ring. Hello. You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. <laughs> Please press one for idiots, two for babies, three for idiot babies, and four for none. Three. Ah, you're an idiot baby? To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? <laughs> Click. <laughs> You're funny. My teacher, Alphys. Alphys. Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. Then uh, slunk out of the place. Pajamas trawling on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is, uh, purely business. So, uh, guess I'll, uh, let her do her thing. <laughs> hey, bud. Are you, uh, busy tomorrow? Need some help with something. It'd be great if you, uh, could come over. I live just next door, you know? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. You were deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? I want to hang out with a stranger? <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Hooray, mate. Now, 
Okay, that was a fucking lie. We don't get to see Papyrus next time. And now, I think it's actually made blatantly clear by the fact that none of his text is yellow. Because like when, when something's going to happen later, someone's text usually turns yellow, but none of his did. He lied to me. Papyrus. Knock, knock, knock. No response, but the distant trousel of bones. One day, one day we shall play. Windows open. There's a, there's a little bun up there. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mummy told you about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Only when it's displaced. Knock, knock, knock. Huh. Sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Okay. I'm sorry. Monster Kid. Yo, Chris. You survived Susie. <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time, me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball. How? And she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could, right into Officer Undyne's car. Oh. Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. Say it again, you armless little bitch. I'll fuck you up. You dare talk about my friends like that right in front of me. Mate, you think you know pain? I'll make that handball go through you. Make both your eyes look like that. Don't you dare fucking speak about her that way. <laughs> You're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. <laughs> if I skip class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> it's actually not even remotely funny. <laughs> Is your dad a little harsh? Oi, Snowy. What I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. <laughs> Alleyway. If it isn't my teacher. Uh, oh, oh, Chris. Oh, you're okay. I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Uh, where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. <laughs> what did we do today? Oh, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? What? Milk. Oh, this saucer of milk. It's for my kitty, Mimiu. She's a perfect angel. Huh? Uh, what does she look like? Well, I've actually never seen her, but... Ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I, I'd like to think that there's a cat. My cat. Flowers. There's so many flowers back here. Oh, these flowers? Oh, they're from your dad. He, he always asks me how you're doing in school. Then gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, that he always gives me flowers. Really makes me wonder if he if if he likes uh if he, if he likes uh the awesome comics I led him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. <laughs> chalk. C Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. I spent two seconds finding it. I found it, and then it was gone. It was just gone. So in return, I can let you borrow, um, my homemade DVD collection of the symptoms. Symptoms. You know, the sitcom all about the middle-class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the second season, since they just rebooted as Symptoms Turbo. They all started driving their own motor vehicles and fighting giant... giant... Uh, what I do to them? I'm stopping him. Innovative man from robots and anti stage Rick Shane from Elam and Gludia. Devastating more than ever. Devastating how to give a motherfucking noise. I feel like I'm devastating it. Huh? You don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, uh, if ever you need help with homework, my office hours are in this disgusting alley. <laughs> um, tell your mum I said hi. You can tell her yourself if it's just next door. 
It's a saucer of milk. Delicious. It's a trash can full of well-kept flowers. Dirty. Dirty. I'm out of this crazy town. Fuck off. Be nice about Susie. <sighs> can I call the number again? Not Sans's number. Ring, ring. Ring, 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 ring. The phone kept ringing indefinitely. Infinitely. Indefinitely? Infidelity. Infidelity. Actual caddy. Look, Chrissy. Like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my God. Can I talk to you about something? Well, actually like anything though, your choice, Asriel. Oh my God, Asriel, like what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch ball all over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom and got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Sister. Oh, how's Caddy doing? Oh, Caddy with an eye. That's your sister. Okay. I thought it was your daughter or something. That's weird. Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We like totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. <laughs> Neighbors, like that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy, she's like my life villain. Like, the other day I went to see Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a cap cap cappuccino. And she was like already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Ah, copy gator? Coposaurus? Copodile? I don't know. She sucks. Nothing. Oh, you gotta go? Do you have, like, homework? You should, like, let me help. <laughs> JK, I totally don't want to. Laters! Bye. Oh, oh, but let me guess. You're not, like, bad-mouthing this gator lady, are you? No, you're just, you're just venting? Just venting? <laughs> <sighs> Fuck's sake. Hey, neighbor baby, when's your brother Doug coming by? <laughs> My girls would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You, know, <laughs> you don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> Where the fuck did you get Douglas from? Can't blame your brother for leaving town. He's out of there getting a big brain in the big school. Hope when he becomes a big shot, he remembers us little guys down here in the street. Eating oranges and getting our stomachs pumped. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where are we? It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat. Oh. 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 Oh, what a visual. No. Hello? Some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Not my business. I'm sorry for being intrusive. I'll get off the grass too. I'm sorry. Chrissy, like, long time no see. What's up? You want to talk about something? <laughs> Go away. Aw, uh, that's no way to talk about your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking, but like, remember that time I played truth or dare with Azzy? I, like, made him give me his first kiss. Then your mom found out he kissed someone, and, like, I think she basically dialed 911. I swear your family went to church, like, every single day that week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 If you think she's just playing a character, oh no, it happens. Neighbor. Ah, oh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize we'll nev she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is like so trashy. Once, her sister served me a coffee, and I swear, it was half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet, girl, for like your whole body. <laughs> I 
a fishnet, a cat net, a hessian sack. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good. I ate, like, six. Then I, like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Aw, Chrissy, you just wanted to say hi. That's adorable. Now get out of here. <laughs> Alrighty. I'd recognize that slanted house from space. Knock, knock, knock. Ah, oh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you pants on home? Knock, knock, knock. I'm telling you, they're not home right now. Ah, oh, you just wanted to talk to me? My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. Not to me. If you're a nobody in this universe, I will make you something. Damn it. Flower King. <laughs> Hang on. There's a truck. It's your dad's truck. Datsun 720, hopefully. That'd be nice. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. <laughs> oh, God. Hey! Nothing better than hanging out the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. <laughs> You're so cute. It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Stick your fingers into the holes in the table. Stick fingers. Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try from below. Your hand became covered in... <laughs> Surely you'd know better by now, mate. Oh, wait on the, on the spot. Wait. 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 There he is. Hi. Hey. There. Uh, notice you were here. It's me. You know me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular. I just don't have any friends. But it's okay. You're here because you're here. You're here. Will you be my friend? Yes. Oh, oh, I'm so happy here. I'm so happy. I, I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, friend? My name is Hippopotamus. Hi hi hippo, hyper, hopo, I'm Hippopotamus. That's you. Big name, but it's worth it. Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Hippopotamus, can you give me a name? Oh. oh, so many choices. But I think I'll go with the vanilla choice. You are onion. Hmm, it's perfect, you hear? I don't know what it means, but it's perfect. Hmm, feels like it's shaped like me. Feels like it smells like me. Wait, what was the name? Uh, um, yum. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, yum, that's my name. Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? Um, um, hip, hip, um, hyper potato mask, that's your name, right? I want to tell you something tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? Okay. I will. Promise. <laughs> Dad, there's a creepy onion in the water. Hi, Dad. Dum -de -dum. Oh, someone there. Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. <laughs> Here we are. Howdy, how can I... <gasps> oh, Chris! Ah, my boy! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like... I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Nah, it's fine. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Thanks. Okay, I'll have some coffee beans. These are coffee beans, right? Wait, it's some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. Ooh, does it have all of the Group B rally cars in it? Or the Group A rally cars, even? 
Maybe it's a flower. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I'm telling you right now, it's not just a flower. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. You looked at the f <laughs> Chris, that's not your money. Any Venus flytraps? Nothing? So, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Azrael comes home, we could all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Yeah. Yeah, I want more hot chocolates. Then we could all have a nice drive around town. I might need to clean out my truck, but, uh... <laughs> That's okay, I'll just hop in the tray. It'll be fun. Ah. Uh, I don't like this. It's a note. It says, No rent received. Again, stop giving away flowers. Start selling them. You have one month. C. Hmm. Various bags of soil. Not coffee beans. Got it. It's a dirty watering can. It's a door. It's locked. There is some dirty fur stuck in the drain. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. See photos. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. Aww, they all look so happy. What happened, Dad? What happened? It's a small TV, on top of some superhero comics. Superhero comics, I said that weird. It's an air mattress, it's certainly not king size. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress and I could, uh, use those bags of soil. Uh, perhaps not. Flowers. Purple flower. It's a blue flower. Cyan flower. Golden flower. Lello flower. Orange. It's my favorite flower. What's going on here? Why, why did you do this? Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Are these the wedding day flowers? Is that why you kept them alive? I guess so. Alright. No. Oh, Chris, before you go... Here. For your mother. Our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. I'll give it a go, Dad. Uh... Okay, a bouquet of beautiful flowers in many colors. Perhaps it could be offered to someone. Uh, I don't think she wants to do this. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is weird. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like this. No, Al, help me out. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so, um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Oh, really? You're the best. Oh, wait, sorry. I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and, uh, oh, sorry, Chris. I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Chris? Um, Chris? Did you want to talk about something? Yeah. Um, Chris? Are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like someone's something's wrong with you. <laughs> uh, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but... Gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Forget I said anything. I mean... I guess it was a little weird. Wasn't it? Just rock up out of the blue. Unannounced, unprompted. Merely because an intrusive thought who's controlling you wanted to see what happened. That thought even knew what would happen. Yet it asked you to do it all the same. How's, uh, how's, uh, how's the, how's the situation? Susie! That's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay. I think. Um, 
Uh, Chris, can I ask you something if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of uh, curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her? If that's okay? <laughs> Terrible! She eats chalk! She's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, 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 this isn't, like, another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious. You're totally serious. Gosh. Maybe I should try talking to her. But, but, if, but, if I die, you're, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. <laughs> Though, honestly, if she's nice, I might die, too. Oh. Oh, it's tough. It's tough. You only got one shot. Do not miss your chance to block. And don't screw it up, for God's sake. What about your key, mate? Huh? Uh, why don't I ask my mum for the key? I, I mean, um, I, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay, I'll, I'll just go over to Caddy's. But Caddy's at work. Wanna suffer with her aunt? Okay, alright. Well, that'll be all, Noel. Good luck out there. Tell Azzy I said hi, Chris. Okay. When he eventually comes home at the end of the week, I shall. It's your mum's van. The front left tyre seems very worn. Seems your mother likes doing single peggers down the fucking street. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time. Alright? Okay. Fine. Chris? What is it, honey? It's me. Chris, honey. You have grown up so much. Someday soon you will be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in. So we brought you that headband with the little red horns on it? Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Some other kids stole it. Then when I tried to get it back from them, they said, Oh, but it's mine. So you, so I fucking wanted to beat them up. When's Azzy coming home? Remember that video game you and Azriel used to play? What was it called? Super S Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he hated that book about eating green eggs. <laughs> oh, God. And you know his response is just, what? They're just eggs. <laughs> what is it, honey? Uh... Should I...? Yeah, well... Oh, Chris. Flowers? For your mother. How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh... Well... Worry not, Chris. I will... Find some place for them. <laughs> Never mind. Chris, perhaps you should go to bed early tonight. You do not look quite yourself. It's a pie. It's as big as my head. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. I wonder. Alright. Go wash my face. Go flush. You flushed the toilet. Beautiful. You know what? I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm tired. I'm very sleepy. Books. History of Humans and Monsters by Gus and Boom. Yeah. Sundary plant. 
It's only you. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm, sleepy. If you... If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. You go to bed. Yeah. You decide to go to bed. Good night. I'm dead. It's bedtime. I hope nothing bad happens. I am not in control. Why? Why? I don't understand. No. Where are you going? It doesn't make any sense. We're only gonna wake up tomorrow and we'll be back in my chest anyway. Not the knife, the heart. Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark. You better not be the stabby guy. To be continued. That was marvelous. That was marvelous. Even the second time round. God, I love this game. I love it more than Undertale. I really do. Undertale did a lot of things right, but this one is just fucking brilliant. It's funny, it's sweet. It's not janky. It is weird, but like the, a, a pleasant sort of weird that you could accept. <laughs> and ever like, so much happens. Like, who are we? Where did we come from? We're the only human probably just in existence. How much of this world has anything to do with Undertale? I don't know. <laughs> is it before the events of Undertale? Or is it like just a... Like a separate universe? Like, I've played Chapter 2 as well. And I really, really hope that you guys like this because I want to make this again. Because <laughs> oh, I want to go into Chapter 2. I know I've done it before. But running through these things is just so fun. And I've had a hell of a few weeks, eh? Like, I tried making a video and I hated it. And I thought, you know what? I just need to step away and, you know, collect myself a bit. And I did. I came back to that video. It was a visit to the past video that I was planning. And I still just wasn't feeling it. So I was like, okay, I'll move on to something else. How about that? This is what I moved on to. And I have had so much passion to make these videos about Deltarune. Such a great game. Just makes me so goddamn happy that it exists. So damn happy. Oh gosh. And I remember the first time, even now, like it's, it's left me with more questions than answers. Heading into chapter two, like, we've established that we can go into this dark world. No one really believes that it's there, or knows that it's there. But I'm sure they'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Anyway, that's been really fun. Really, really fun. I hope the idea of like revisiting something you've already played isn't like weird to anyone. Um, but I guess if you've watched this far or skipped ahead this far, um, maybe you don't mind so much. I mean, I didn't mind revisiting this and I certainly didn't mind making a video on it because the first time I played through this game, I didn't voice any of the characters, nothing. I just sat there, played through it silently, read all of the lines, and then left it. So, yeah. And gosh, there were so many things I forgot. Just the tiny little jokes and quips and little things that you could do in rooms and that. I'm sure I missed a lot of stuff, but, but I tried to see as much as I could. 
And whenever chapter three comes out, like, that's going to be a damn good day. And I'll, that will be my first blind Deltarune playthrough. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed walking with me through Deltarune. You've probably seen it. I definitely have. But I hope you had fun. Because I certainly had fun making this. And, uh, yeah. Just cheers for hanging around. Cheers for giving me the opportunity to make videos like this. It's really fun. Anyway, onwards to something else. Then chapter two later on. See you later.